This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Echo Maze. This design is sponsored by From Daisy to Paisley, a book featuring 50 beginner level free motion quilting designs, and that is available at freemotionquilt.com. Now let's get back to Echo Maze. To stitch this design, the first thing you're going to do is come up with a short kind of branch of uh, circuit board. And basically what circuit board is, circuit board is a straight line, sharp angled version of stippling. So if you want to think of it as anything, just simply think of it as stippling only with straight lines. And then what you're going to do after you come up with that one kind of branch or piece of it, you're going to echo it multiple times. So here you can see I'm coming up with first my initial shape and then I'm going to travel stitch and echo around it as many times as I like. Um, two to three times usually looks the best. If you're wanting to cover a lot of space on your quilt very quickly, you might want to expand it to five or six echoes for each shape. It really does change the look of the design, the more echoes that you put around each circuit board shape. Uh, so kind of play with it and see what you like best. You might notice that this is actually a variation of brain coral. Brain Curl is exactly the same. It's an echoing design and it is actually a variation of stippling. So you're taking the curvy lines and curvy shapes and simply stitching around them and echoing for that design. And the really neat thing about it is that both work so very similarly. They work in just about any area of your quilt so long as you can fit your initial shape in there and kind of work around it to echo it, it's going to work great and you're anywhere. Um, and this is going to especially look good, I think, in the all over areas of your quilt. If you're wanting to stitch all over the surface and cover it with a fun texture, I think this is going to look really, really good. You can see how the design is uh, kind of matching up in this area. Every once in a while you're going to get some kind of weird areas. Just try and stitch some straight lines in those areas simply because that will keep the design most consistent and even looking over the surface of your quilt. Echoing designs are kind of fun. Um, many people that struggle with pivoting designs, which are variations of Paisley, do really, really well with echoing designs. It's just kind of different ways that different people's brains work. So play with both families of designs. Uh, try a variety of different ones from both kind of groups and see which one works the best for you. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Echo Maze. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting, check out daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com.